4, 6 through 8. And it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes and what that really meant to me in terms of Shirley. But it says here, finally, brethren, I like to throw the sisters in there too, uh, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, and whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there's any virtue, if there's anything praiseworthy, think about these things. You know, Shirley always found the good in people. She always found the lovely spot. She always found the thing in you that encouraged you and that she noticed. And she had a way of magnifying the good things. And so today, let's not think about the bad. Let's not think about anything dreadful or dreary. Let's think about the good things. Let's think about the lovely things and the lovely things about Shirley. And so that's really what we're going to do. We're going to celebrate the life that Shirley lived. Shirley was a vivacious, peppy, zippy, sassy, frassy friend. And I loved everything about her. And today she would want us to celebrate. She would want us to celebrate her life. Shirley was not into being a downer. She was an upper. And so today... As I have you bow your heads, we're going to pray. And I just pray for every one of you who have something to say, to remember, Shirley, that the peace of God will, will be upon you. I know that's a, something that causes you to feel nervous. I release the peace of God upon Martha and upon Jackie, who are going to do the bulk of the speaking today. Let's pray. Father, today we cast our cares upon you as your word instructs us to, because you care for us. And we thank you, Lord, that you love us. I thank you that Shirley knew that love. I thank you, Lord, that she knew your mercy. And I thank you today that your mercies are new. They're new this morning. I pray, Lord, that right now the peace that we've just read about that passes all understanding would rest upon every heart in this house. And that we would remember Shirley. We would pay tribute to the qualities about her that were lovely, good, praiseworthy. And that even though today we're going to miss her, we're also going to celebrate her because she's been promoted to heaven. She's in her happiest place right now enjoying your presence. And I pray that comfort and that hope would rest upon every person under the sound of my voice. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Right. This time I'd like to invite Martha to the podium to read a poem.